Hi, my name's Ren. Welcome to my channel. You've reached Ren0216. And uh, it's a fantastic Monday or a rainy and cold Monday. It depends where you are in America, I suppose. Obviously, I'm in the South and cold is relative. I used to live up North, so cold is very relative. It's not cold enough, cold enough to constitute a thick coat or anything, but cold for the self, I suppose. Um, it's been a busy day. I did a lot of cleaning today for my partner's mom's house. Uh, she had some guests coming over and she wanted to help kind of like do some sprucing up. I mean, the house is relatively clean. So, you know, it's just a little detailing, I suppose, is what we were doing today. And I did a lot of that and got stuck in the cold rain. My feet still haven't dried out. And that one, like, hmm, since one o'clock, it's crazy. It's now like, oh, jeepers, 11. So yay, craziness. But uh, yeah, well, you know, I had a fun day because I went to that dinner. Had a fun time socializing with her guests and just sharing stories, I suppose. So, stories like history is one thing I'm really passionate about, like different nuances of history and learning just all kinds of stuff. I mean, look at the world. The world is this amazing place full of so much knowledge it's like endless with all the things that you can learn and the minute you say i'm done i've had enough it's just the minute you stop living i think i mean to be able to continue your learning is it's just and keep going it's just amazing absolutely amazing so yeah and then there's, you know, a lot of different people you can meet, different cultures you can experience, and I don't know. I think just the world's an amazing place. And like I said, I just enjoyed learning, and why stop, you know? So, there is that. And, you know... I've been stazing a lot today. I hope I'm not coming down with anything. <laughs> but today was uh, kind of a harder day. I would go as far as terms of staying to the diet because when you go to other people's houses and eat at their house, you can't really control what's served. and um, But you can control what you eat and how much you eat. You can always control that. So you can lean towards the healthier aspects of the what they serve and do your best, basically. That's all you can do. And it's all they can expect you to do. Because we don't live in this perfect society where everything's going to be absolutely perfect all the time. And we don't live in a place where, you know, everything's going to be equal, everybody's equal, things of that nature. So, I don't know. I, I it's when when you do get around other people and they do know that you are making the life choices of changing your diet and what you eat. They they do respectful. I, and, and the thing is, is it's not on them to make sure you stay on your diet. It's always on you. It is your responsibility. And you can't expect the entire world to cater towards you. And I know people that are like that. <laughs> no, that's not that's not their responsibility. It is yours. If you want to be on this special diet, it is your responsibility. If you feel that you're gonna be going to a place where there's gonna be absolutely nothing for you to eat, then bring something with you. Because if they are truly your friend, they're going to understand that, you know, 
while you respect what they make, and don't be rude about it, of course, but while you respect what they make, it just doesn't necessarily fall in the criteria of what you are able to eat. Because if somebody's allergic to peanuts, you would not expect them to eat nuts. Yeah. So the same philosophy goes. And another thing is that people only assume that exercise is like running or lifting weights or swimming, etc. Exercise is motion. Exercise can be house cleaning. Exercise can be doing laundry. You lifting and pulling and pushing and all that is motion. And so all the cleaning I did today, going up and down the stairs, it's uh, it's cleaning. It is exercise. And that's, at the end of the day, that's what it is. It all counts. Because you're still burning calories. So, never sell yourself short. But on the reverse side, don't over glorify it either because it's still only mild form of exercise it's not like an intense form it's just much more mild form of exercise and so and don't just be like oh i i've been cleaning for a few hours as i burned like a thousand calories no it's not how that works i it's just today it's been a day so don't don't set up the expectations of overselling what you've done. Just be honest. Be honest with yourself. You know, I have done this and I have done that. I mean, lying to yourself is not going to help you at the end of the day. It's not going to let you get that any healthier. It's, you know, I only had one piece of pie. I, you know, followed by three cookies and chocolate milk or whatever. I don't eat a lot. Maybe, you know, maybe you think you don't, but then what do you eat? That's not a lot, and it could still be adding up on calories, because you look at a meal at just a regular cheeseburger at, like, a Jack in a Box, you already have, like, 900 calories right there. You know, that's one meal. And sometimes more. Sometimes it's even higher than that. It just depends on what you get and setting those expectations and actually looking at what you're eating is very important. And then portion control, because the portions, especially in America, are very large. They're, we're used to these large portions, but in reality, uh, the smaller portions, like the child size portions that we have, are actually adult size portions, are what is recommended for an adult. So it boggles our mind that we have become a society of excess and we've gotten to where it slowly crept up over the years to be more and more and more and more as consumers. And our waistlines have expanded as well, I would think. Uh, well, you know, uh, plus we're more stationary now. We have a lot of more conveniences from our homes. I mean, in theory, you can work from home, you can order your food to be delivered at your home, your clothing can be delivered at home, anything you want to need or use can all be delivered to your home without ever having to leave your home. And you know that movie, The Net with Sandra Bullock, it's kind of like that now. I mean, there are people that don't ever leave their home. And, um, it, that's what we've become is this we we become a society where we do, we get that luxury of never having to leave our home i leave my home i didn't for a while because my back was out and um my weight was up and that amplified my back problems so I wasn't able to leave the home, so being trapped in a room has made me very grateful of the outdoors, of being able to go to the store. Sure, I can have my groceries delivered. Absolutely. I mean, 
A lot of people do. But I am grateful that I can actually go get them myself. When you experience not being able to do something yourself, it makes you appreciate all that much more on the ability to do it yourself. And so I could be like, order everything online, have everything delivered and never leave my house and even do all my exercise from home. But I feel that since I can leave my home, I, I do leave my home and it's a choice and that's the choice I choose. And I think it's healthier to leave my home because it allows me to interact with people and uh, I could be more selective on what produce I get because I'm kind of picky when it comes to produce and I really don't, I, I don't really like people selecting my produce for me because I want like certain kinds and I want it to be like a certain ripeness and things like that and it, it it's just not me so that alone makes me want to do my own shopping for groceries and plus smiling and telling somebody to have a nice day you know That makes me happy. And I I like being positive to people. I like helping people. That's one of my things. I really do like helping people. And that's kind of why I created this channel, channel was to actually help people. To help people be like who are struggling with weight. They're not alone. And is it easy? No, never easy. Is worth it? Yeah. But they're not alone. And any help I can provide, any questions you might have for me, ask them. If I know them, I'll tell them. I, I just want somebody out there who was bed bound like I was and be like, hey, if this girl could do it, maybe I can do it too. You can. So on that note, all your imperfections are beautiful because they are what make you unique and make you you. Always remember that. And with hope, everything is possible. So never lose hope. And hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Always hydrate. <laughs> As the thing I remind myself every day, get your water and drink it. <laughs> Same bottle. So until next time, stay warm. <laughs> Mwah.